More often than not, it's the movie industry that's famed for returning to old ideas and remaking, rebooting and reimagining great concepts from decades past. However, at present there are a whole bunch of similar returns laying in wait for some of the biggest shows in the history of television. I'm Josh from WhatCulture.com and these are 10 TV shows you didn't know were being revived. Number 10, Sex and the Sea. Sex and the City is one of those shows, much like Friends, that has had fans clamouring for more since it came to a close. That close came in 2004 after six seasons, but the series was at least followed up with two movies in 2008 and 2010, and the so-so two seasons of The Carrie Diaries. After all of those years of waiting though, Sex and the City is getting a new series that will act as a straight follow-up. Rather than being known as Sex and the City though, this revival will be formally titled and just like that. And that's not the only tweak to this property's return. And just like that will be a 10 episode series that has Sarah Jessica Parker, Kirsten Davis and Cynthia Nixon all back in the saddle as Carrie, Charlotte and Miranda. But while that trio of memorable characters are returning, sadly Kim Cattrall's Samantha will not be part of this reunion. In the years since Sex and the City concluded, and even during the years the show was still on air, Cattrall and Parker have been engrossed in a long-running feud. As such, the Samantha character will be entirely absent when and just like that lands on HBO Max. Number 9. Battlestar Galactica News of a Battlestar return is enough to put a smile on anyone's face, but what's most encouraging is that Sam Esmail is the person tasked with handling the show. Esmail, if you don't know, is best known for being the driving force behind Mr. Robot, and he'll be producing this new Battlestar Galactica offering for NBC Universal's Peacock streaming platform. Noted author and playwright Mike Leslie is also serving as showrunner and the lead writer on the project. In terms of what's known about this latest iteration of Battlestar Galactica, we know that the show will exist within the same continuity as the 2004 reboot, although the focus will be on different characters. Interestingly, when this new Battlestar Galactica offering does arrive as well, it may be served up in an experimental fashion. Speaking to Collider, Esmail explained how they may release episodes to Peacock in a way that benefits the story being told at that time. For example, if the series is serving up a battle that rages on for three episodes, then those three episodes will hit Peacock at the same time. However, on the other hand, we may may just get one-off 20-minute episodes introducing individual characters. It is an interesting way to do business and I guess we'll see if it pays off. Number 8. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air at present, NBC Universal's Peacock streaming platform is one of the fastest growing in the game. Amongst the many strings Peacock continues to add to its bow, one of the prized jewels in their crown is a reboot of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Rumours of something new for The Fresh Prince had been circling for years before Will Smith and Morgan Cooper confirmed last August that they were rebooting this iconic series. Prior to this, 2019 saw Cooper put together a faux trailer for what was simply titled Bel-Air, showing a more dramatic darker reimagining of the existing Fresh Prince IP, this much praised video caught a whole lot of attention on YouTube, including catching the eye of Will Smith. Following the same tone as the mock trailer then, a new spin on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air has been in development for the past year, and the revival had Netflix, HBO Max and Peacock involved in a bidding war for the series. Not only did Peacock win out in this battle though, it was quick to confirm a two season order for Bel-Air. Number 7. The Ren and Stimpy Show Created by John Chris Faluzzi, who also voiced Ren for the first two seasons, the series quickly became a cult favourite upon debuting in 1991. Brimming with dark humour, innuendo and shock tactics, the adventures of an erratic, hair-trigger tempered chihuahua and a happy-go-lucky cat jumped out from the pack as something truly different during its run. Chris Faluzzi will not be part of this revival though, with him being fired by Nickelodeon after the Ren and Stimpy show's second year. And in recent years, Chris Faluzzi has since come under fire after Alex allegations of sexual harassment and grooming have come to the forefront. Rightfully then, he won't be coming back, but one person who will be back in action is voice acting royalty Billy West, who will be joining some of the original show's writers and hopefully longtime director Bob Camp. This return of Ren and Stimpy was hoped to be on our screens in the first half of 2021, yet the global pandemic has caused delays to come into play. With Nickelodeon Animation Studio producing for Comedy Central though, the hope is that this new Ren and Stimpy show lands before the year is out. Number 6. Beavis and Butthead 
Much like the Ren and Stimpy show, Beavis and Butthead is another adult-driven animated series soon to return to our screens. Of course, this isn't the first time these two socially awkward, music-obsessed figures have been revived, as 2011 saw an eighth season of the series arrive after the show's initial seven-season run originally came to an end back in 1997. Last July saw Comedy Central announce its plans to bring back Beavis and Butthead with a two-season order announced at that point in time. The early word on this return though is that the titular twosome will find themselves in a Gen Z world that will offer up themes relatable to fans both old and new. Not just are we getting at least two more seasons of Beavis and Butthead though, which will start to air in the second half of this year, but last month also saw the news that a new Beavis and Butthead movie is also being developed for the Paramount Plus streaming service. Number 5. Gossip Girl Many were a little surprised when the call was made to bring Gossip Girl's run to a close in 2012 after six seasons. It may not have been for everyone, but there was undoubtedly a huge audience who lapped up the antics of the posh and privileged of Manhattan's Upper East Side. For the 2021 return of Gossip Girl though, the new series is being labelled as somewhat of a shared universe show to the original offering. Executive producers Josh Schwartz, Stephanie Savage and Josh Safran are all on board for this revival, as is Chris and Bell as the narrator of the series. However, don't expect many, if any, of the show's original familiar faces to be featured in this new one. This time, the spotlight will be on a fresh set of characters, headed up by Emily Allen Lind, Eli Brown, and Whitney Peake, who will exist in the same continuity of the existing show. Landing on HBO Max later this year, the 10-episode Gossip Girl relaunch will take place eight years after the events of its predecessor. Number 4. Party Down in the grand scheme of things, Party Down was a blip on the TV radar. Running for just two seasons, the series brought in majorly low ratings before stars just opted to pull the plug on the show entirely. The thing is though, those who did see Party Down were left devastated when the series was axed, as it was a highly entertaining and hilarious 30 minute comedy. Throw in a cast featuring the likes of Adam Scott, Ken Marino, Lizzie Kaplan, Martin Starr, Jane Lynch, Jennifer Coolidge, Joey Lauren Adams, J.K. Simmons, Kristen Bell, and you can see why Party down so often brought out plenty of chuckles. And for those who thought Party Down's two-year run was cut criminally short in 2010, this month brought the hugely welcome news that the series is being revived by the original creators, although there's no word yet on just which cast members will be returning. Number 3. Regrets as of this recording, a Rugrats revival is currently slated to arrive this spring, with no set premiere date yet to be announced by Nickelodeon or the Paramount Plus streaming service, which the show will call home. Having debuted in 1991, Rugrats initially ran for 172 episodes across nine seasons, with two main movies and a crossover picture with the Wild Thornberrys to its name. And that's not even including the sequel and prequel shows, director DVD specials, and other associated tie-ins for this animated Empire. This return of Rugrats though appears to be very much in the same vein as the first few seasons of the original series, with the majority of the cast all reprising their respective roles. However, according to prolific voice talent Tara Strong, one notable omission will be Dill Pickles, the newborn Pickles offspring who's introduced in the first Rugrats movie, although Strong has suggested that Dill will appear in the revival's second season. Number 2. Frasier with a then record setting 37 Primetime Emmy Awards under its belt, Frasier was a true powerhouse of TV between 1993 and 2004. Spinning off from Cheers, this is a show that served up phenomenal television as psychiatrist Frasier Crane returned home to host a radio advice show in Seattle and reconnect with his father and brother. It was brilliant, it was clever, it was humorous, and it was a series overflowing with stunning performances from all involved. Though rumoured for a while now, the formal announcement of Frasier return was made earlier this year, with the show, which called NBC home for its 11 seasons, to arrive on Paramount Plus in early 2022. Now, while it is awesome that Kelsey Grammer's Dr. Crane will be back on our screens, the excitement was slightly dampened by speculation that fan favourite David Hyde Pierce will not be back as Frasier's brother Niles. Still, this is just speculation, so he is hoping. Number 1. Dexter if you're looking for shows whose finale thoroughly split opinion, then few series ended with as much of a mixed response as Dexter. Supposedly going out in a blaze of glory, the concluding episode of the show had Michael C. Hall's Dexter Morgan drive his slice-of-life boat into a huge storm, 
with us told how the smashed remains of the boat had been found with no survivors. Of course, the final moments of Dexter saw the titular character shown alive and well, sporting a ludicrous fake beard and living the life of a recluse lumberjack in Oregon. Now, eight years after Dexter ended, the show is returning for a 10 episode limited series on Showtime. Not only will Hall be back as the headline act, Clyde Phillips will likewise be again serving as showrunner. Picking up where the original eight seasons left off, this return will focus on a Dexter Morgan who is in self-imposed exile, still working as that ridiculously facial-haired lumberjack. The current plan is for Dexter to return to Showtime towards the end of the year, and we can only hope that the show makes the most of this second opportunity to give itself a truly fitting send-off. So that's our list. Once you guys think down in the comments below, how many of these did you not know were arriving over the next few years? And are there any revivals I missed off here? Either way, while you're down there, could you give us a like, share, subscribe, and head over to whatculture.com for more lists and news like this every single day. Even if you don't though, I've been Josh. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.